Hello, my name is Gikon. I'm Nian Saizio Mobile TV. I'm the Nagamis News Channel 2. Jo asal Jun laga moina de chumu kiri mata un council bra ekta challenging step loshe kude taikan chumu kiri mata unge no litter zone hobo koi kina announce krishe. Edu nishna hornbill TV bra chumu kiri mala ga ESC se kriti oge kotha krishe aru hudishe taikan no litter zone implement kuriya do kimandak success hula se aru kiki steps loya se edu kan bi hudishe. IB details reporter ke Christine oki ho lo de chaniwo. Our Chumakirima Town Council um, uh, taking into consideration uh, the amount of littering and throwing of waste that takes place on our highways and our, you know, uh, um, uh, small little colony streets and all that. We've, we decided to have uh, sort of a policy that just bans uh, littering completely, uh, especially uh, along the National Highway stretch, the four-lane uh, National Highway stretch uh, within Chumakirima Town jurisdiction. And we came up with this policy in the month of June uh, 2021, and uh, it's been going on ever since. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, would you say that this no litter zone that was uh, implemented just last year, do you say that it has been a success, or how is it going about, and how are you, you know, like going about after implementing it, the work, and you know, who is taking charge of all of this? Um, to call it an absolute success right now would be quite immature. But um, it, frankly speaking, we have seen some tangible changes, especially uh, amongst the traders along the National Highway 29. Uh, but what we're actually going for here, I mean, we, we completely understand that, you know, having a no litter zone policy or, you know, banning people from littering, throwing waste cannot be done overnight. We're uh, thinking more in terms of a behavioral change amongst our general public, our, you know, our, uh, our, our the, you know, um, uh, fellow citizens. Um, coming to Chumakitima town, uh, we have seen some success in this, uh, especially amongst the traders who've now become a bit more aware that they're supposed to maintain the premises, that they're supposed to have clean surroundings. Um, we have formed anti-litter squads where every squad is headed by our market inspector. And these squads consist of our Chumakitima Chamber of Commerce and our Chumakitima Town Youth Organization, where they go around every now and then checking uh, the uh, establishments, the business establishments along the highway, uh, um, checking general public from, you know, uh, stopping them from littering. And I would say that with the coming of these anti-litter squads in the town, we have seen some uh, amount of change or some success at least. Yeah. We Nagas are not generally, we're not used to, you know, keeping our waste to ourselves. We, you know, if we don't see a dustbin, we don't normally look for dustbins also. Uh, you know, when we have a fruity uh, or, a, a, you know, maybe a lassi or something, you know, we just throw it wherever we, we are done having them. And that's one of the biggest problems that any town council faces uh, right now. Uh, and with the coming of COVID, the use of face mask and disposing of face masks, that was an issue that we faced because last year when we started our no litter zone policy, we decided to have a comprehensive cleaning of the highway. And amongst the ways that we collected, one of the chief, uh, you know, uh, agents, the chief waste that we collected were uh, face masks. Now that is also one uh, major problem that we're facing right now. And again, this change in our uh, perspective towards littering and waste that has to come from uh, you know uh, ourselves only not you know government agents or town council staff coming and telling you or you know uh, scaring you that you shouldn't do this anymore it has to come from within and we're hoping that at least what we started now with this policy will uh, be more long term and that's not just something that's done overnight uh, uh, and we we're very aware that uh, starting this or you know sustaining a no litter policy uh, will be difficult, but we're hoping that it'll be a success in the long run, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Lastly, you know, like coming down to this, uh, talking about the no litter zone, you're saying that, you know, to some extent, uh, it is successful, and we're also looking forward to it being, you know, like uh, successful in the coming days, implementing it well. So would you uh, suggest that even other localities implement this? Um, yes, um, very much. It is a, a humble request from our Chumbukidima Town Council also. There is a, um, a 
uh, wrong notion, I would say, amongst uh, most people that they think that our Chumbakidima town jurisdiction stretches from the uh, Chumbakidima check post right till places like uh, Purana Bazaar or Patampukri, but that is not so. It's, uh, it ends uh, at uh, IOCL bottling plant at South Mile. Uh, so at least within our jurisdiction, we're trying to maintain that. Besides our jurisdiction, uh, the, the lower stretch along the highway, we've, we've uh, Pass some orders under administrative jurisdictions. We've asked the village councils to maintain the stretches, and uh, even the, these village councils, to some extent, have started their own uh, checks uh, within their jurisdictions. But yes, we would always uh, like to have more of these uh, no littering policies, uh, maybe lower down the stretches as well. And if they can, in their own way, we're not saying it has to be a blanket thing for everyone, they can come up with their own plans. But if we could have a proper no litter uh, policy for the entire area, that'd be uh, very good for all of us. <laughs> So, uh, thank you so much for uh, speaking to Hornbill TV again. So, Mohan Huni Pai that you know, tahan uh, June la moy na June 2021 day to no liter zone la chumur kedi town the implement kwa la to some extent successful hoy ne ahi ase aru tahan itia bi ina work kui ne jase aru hopefully tahan ahi din kan deuliwi to balra ina implement kui dia nishna sob manui kotha mani ne jau kui ne bisa sase aru taira EAC secret solo ra alak localities kan we encourage Kwesi, Tangi, Nekta, take up Kuribi Kuina. With your name, Manase, my reporter Kikrisinu Kihua, with camera person Joy for Hornbill TV.